Cars Channel News and Review Car. Two thousand seventeen Volvo S ninety inscription driven. Volvo has been around for ninety years and made some pretty impressive vehicles. I dare to say the S ninety inscription has eclipsed them all. Let me back up. Volvo's new quest for dominance in the luxury segment has yielded two very impressive results: the second generation XC ninety SUV that debuted for the two thousand fifteen model year and the new for two thousand seventeen S ninety sedan. They both share a number on components, from the T five and T six four cylinder engines to the chassis architecture. Best of all. They both share a similar design style that exudes a sense of reserved affluence. I recently spent a week with the 2017 Volvo S90 fitted with the range topping inscription package in several high-end options. Though the S90 carries a base price in the mid $40,000 range, my tester felt like it cost double that, though somehow it didn't. A rich interior is key in this positive deception, with padded leather open pore wood accents, and aluminum trim pieces covering every inch of touchable space inside the cabin. What little plastic remains is high quality and coated in a piano black finish. Technology also abounds in this machine. An impressive infotainment system and digital gauge cluster further perpetuate the feeling of luxury and its merger with technology. The T6 powertrain is a marvel of modern internal combustion engine design. And of course, a slew of active and passive safety systems continue proving Volvo remains a leader in vehicle safety. So what's it like to live with the S90? Keep reading for the full details. Elegance, that's what the 2017 Volvo S90 drips from every smoothly rolled crease in its muscle blue metallic covered body. It's the type of elegance that is rarely seen these days. Where the competition uses bold designs with flamboyant grills and overstated features, the S90 takes a more tasteful approach. Rest assured that each crease and line serves a visual purpose and that nothing is present to call attention to itself. Even the bits that are designed to impress, like the Thor's hammer headlights and well-placed chrome brightwork, all blend perfectly into the S90's overall appearance. The design works as a whole acting as a cohesive thought, like a well-written thesis on reserved refinement and modern art. Up front, the Volvo grille is concave in its shape, allowing the Volvo badge a place of prominence. The flanking headlights use LED lighting elements with that distinctive hammer shape defining the daytime running lights. The lower LED lights act both as fog lights and cornering lights positioned to illuminate beyond the sideways reach of the active bending headlights that turn to match the steering angle. Volvo's quest for safety is spotted by the parking sensors, font camera, and windshield mounted road monitoring systems, which give the S90 the ability to hold its lane, keep its distance from the vehicle in front, and automatically stop itself should a crash be imminent. Thanks to the optional inscription package, my tester rolls on the 8-spoke, 20-inch alloy wheels finished in a bright satin chrome. These wheels are actually optional, but only available to inscription-equipped models. They come wrapped in 255-35 series Pirelli tires. And just when you think you've got an appreciation for the S90's aesthetics, a long stare at its side profile reveals even more intentionally understated and reserved beauty. The long hood sits nearly flat against the horizon, as does the strong shoulder line that runs between the side windows and door handles. The rearward set cabin doesn't fall victim to the coupe sedan craze, but rather uses a modestly curved roof line that ensured adequate headroom for all aboard. Outback the S90 proves understated beauty doesn't have to be uniform. The taillights and trunk lid are like nothing else on the road, giving this executive sedan a bespoke appearance, especially at night. The rear bumper houses twin, chrome-tipped exhaust ports that begin hinting at what lurks under that long, low-hung hood. The S90 is probably one of the most understated of its luxury sedan brethren, but it is all the better for it. If you want sporty luxury, the Mercedes-AMG E43 and Cadillac CTS-V have you covered.
if you're wanting transportation that looks more East Hampton than Monticello Motor Club, the S90 is a properly smart choice. Two of the biggest competitors in this segment are the Mercedes-Benz E-Class and the Cadillac CTS. These two offer copious amounts of luxury, sport, and efficiency, when optioned correctly, all wrapped in attractive packages. The Mercedes E-Class, like the Volvo, is aimed more at luxury than sport, at least when not in AMG form. The Benz has a large chrome grille and LED encrusted headlights that perpetuate the E-Class status as a high-class luxury sedan. The feel continues further back, with sculpted yet muted body lines forming an almost rounded shape from headlight to tail light. A tall greenhouse ensures interior headroom is plentiful while keeping the E-Class traditional sedan shape. Those who want a coupe can opt for the CLS class. The styling outback is equally rich yet diminutive, with few traces of ostentatiousness or tacky add-ons. The Cadillac, on the other hand, is a bit more flamboyant with its large grille, angular styling, and chrome trim scattered about. It's not overly ostentatious, but it does have a more youthful vibe than the Volvo or Mercedes. The 2017 model year brings a slightly revised styling for the front and rear, along with some changes in the trim levels. Styling-wise, the Caddy's grill has chrome bars and a big Cadillac Cadillac crest placed front and center. Its low-slung hood is pulled down over the front wheels, giving it a forward-leaning appearance. LED daytime running lights continue the modern theme seen around the car. Out back. New vertical tailpipes replace the horizontal ones and a new lower valance resides between them. Like the outside, the interior of this Volvo is pure class, luxury wrapped in leather and accented with open pore walnut, satin chrome aluminum, and piano black trim work. Elegance prevails again, and the S90 is all the better for it. Volvo first displayed at aptitude for interior decorating with the new for 2016 XC90. In fact, the S90 and XC90 share a similar theme in many of the same pieces. Volvo is hardly a parts bin automaker, but the seminaries are unmistakable. Of course, this is hardly a negative, as both the SUV and sedan offer a premium interior not unbecoming of old money wealth. Fit and finish are impeccable. Most everything expected to be regularly touched is given a high-class feel. What little plastics are scattered about are thick, high-quality pieces given that piano black finish. These plastics include the infotainment system surround, the steering wheel controls, and the area just aft of the gear shifter. That latter piece encompasses the engine start, stop rotary knob, the drive mode selector, and the electronic parking brake controls. The satin chrome pieces seen covering the start, stop button and drive mode wheel are actually satin chrome. They even feature a scalloped finish that provides grip for gloved finders. The driver will happily take his gloves off as the three-level heated steering wheel warms up. Grab it tight on the highest setting, and your passengers will be taking bets on how long you can stand the heat. It's a lovely feeling. Honestly, the same can be said for the three position heated seats in all seating positions, save for the rear middle. Winter is no match for the S90's warmth. Besides the wonderful seat heaters, the S90's Napa leather covered seats offer nearly infinite power adjustments. The bottom cushion near the knee sides fore and aft, the side bolsters suck in and out, the lumbar support moves up and down and in and out and the seat height is operated independently of the other seat adjustments. Even without power adjustments, the rear seats offer exceptional comfort thanks to their thick padding, recline backrest, and deep seat bottom. Padded armrests, dual-zone climate control, seat heaters, and window shades offer further comforts. That dual-zone system is controlled by the rear-mounted control panel on the back of the center console. As for other controls, I couldn't review the Volvo S90 without talking about its Census infotainment system with its iPad-like 9-inch screen. Nearly all vehicle controls, save for the main driving controls, are hosed in this system. An Apple-like light touch is all that's required to operate the screen, 
which also responds to Apple-style multi-gesture commands. While I normally don't approve of VAC controls being located within an infotainment system, Volvo did an amazing job at intuitively integrating the temperature, fan speed, and seat controls into the lower portion of the screen. The buttons are always present and offer quick access without fuss. The heated and vented seats have three positions, as does the heated steering wheel, for a wide range of temperature settings. Other settings are just a swipe away. Three main pages are present, and just like your iPhone, you swipe left and right to reach each one. The middle page is home, while the left page is vehicle settings and the right page is entertainment settings and applications. The menu functions are graphically interesting and logically positioned for ease of use. Folks with knowledge of running Apple's iOS software will have no problem navigating the census infotainment system. It's just that intuitive. What's more, a built-in owner's manual allows for quick searching, making it super easy to find solutions to questions.